Alright, so uh, now we're going to do the 4x4, four four, the 24 inch uh, wedge jig. So same thing, uh, measure from the arbor down to the blade, make sure that we're good, which we did. And then from the inside of the blade to the outside of the shoe, and we're at two and an eighth, so we did that, I'm sorry, two and a quarter. So we did that um, uh, last video. So we're going to go ahead and put this together. So this time we're going to need four pieces of 4x4, four four, 24 inches long. And we're going to kind of do it the same way. So use a scrap. I'm going to find, I'm going to use this one for my good piece. All right, so. Four pieces of four by four, 24 inches long. I'm going to take my double gusset. And we're, this time we're just going to put it right in the middle. All right, so that gives us plenty of room to hang over. It just allows us to nail to a wood table. We're going to take some eights. And same thing as before, we're going to leave the one that we're going to cut open. So I'm going to nail these two off and this one off, uh, two nails in each board. That way this one runs free. And this one's going to be love tap. So I know they're duplex, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish it off. Now the important thing is to make sure that these are flush. So I'll try to do this without picking it up. I'm gonna push on the board here. Make sure they're nice and tight. Give myself flip this over and as you can see the same as last time with the two by four is I have two solid for my motor this one's the one that we're gonna cut this one's gonna be for our guide so I'm gonna go ahead and flip this up on its end and I'm gonna nail off a little piece for the little stopper up here I'm gonna grab just a scrap piece Make sure you don't nail it to the one that's going to come out. Just this piece here. Those don't have to be buried, but we're going to put two in so it doesn't rotate on us. Awesome. All right, so nice and snug. Lay this back down. Oh. All right, so as you can see, that little board right here, a little stopper, will stop this lumber from going any further. So I won't go past my cut, and the cut will be nice and straight. All right, so the next thing to do is we need to go ahead and measure our piece for our straight edge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a straight edge here. I'm gonna look for the angle of the cut. This one's kinda of straight. That one's a little, we got another piece that's somewhat straight. Yeah, that one's definitely not straight. Let's get a, um, yeah, a little bit long. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark from end to end that I wanna cut. So I'm gonna leave that right there, leaving the edges exposed. I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna run a line. I'm short-handed here. Straight down the board that I'm gonna cut. So that is my wedge. Okay, makes it pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Now what we're gonna do is off of that, we're gonna measure our cut piece. So we're at, let me say we're at two and an eighth, right? Two and an eighth, I think. So what I'm do is I'm gonna come over to here to two and an eighth. 
lock this out. I'm gonna go to my line, so it's straight on, and go to two and an eighth, and make my little mark. That's one, I'm gonna do somewhere in the middle. Make sure I'm not in the little gap there, so I can read it. So we'll go two and an eighth, and then I'm gonna come all the way down here to the bottom. Do the same thing. So I'm at two and an eighth. Sweet. Now we're gonna take our semi straight wood. Hopefully this works. And we're gonna line up our three marks. Over here, here, and right there. Alright. That should be good. Now we're gonna take this and nail this off. slide around there. I'm just going to tack those in in case our marks are a little bit off. It should be pretty good. You almost should wear a ball in there. Alright, so instead of that, do pull-ups if you can. Alright, let's give this a cut and see what happens. Which turns out. So that's so what we did. Nice clean edge here. Let's measure our heel. Make sure we're full three and a half. And we're pretty close on the money. So there's another good wedge. There's your four by four wedge jig. Two pieces, like I said, you don't need to number them because they're both the same. Um, 24 inches.